Welcome, welcome everybody. Today we are going to be doing a partial tour of everything I have done on the Hogwarts castle so far. Now you see in the thumbnail and you can probably assume that I am trying to build the most detailed and accurate Hogwarts castle ever created and I think so far we are absolutely blowing all competition out of the water. This is definitely going to be the best version ever created here in Minecraft. So without further ado, let's get into the tour. So I'm going to start down here because I have recently been working a lot on um, the terrain and some of the smaller builds out here. So if you see a lot of yellow, that's because I haven't painted this terrain yet. Um, and this is going to be the Black Lake, which is also not done. So it won't be sponge and it will look all like it will look like this. It will look painted and all nice and done when it's completely finished. But um, let me show you kind of what I have on the outside, maybe a little bit of the interior. We'll see if we can fit that in in this video. So first things first, I recently just finished this boathouse, which I think looks really good considering our first version of the boathouse was actually this right here. And um, yeah, as you can see, the new boathouse looks way better. Um, this one is more accurate to all the source material from the actual model um, that is in real life, which is what I based this castle off of. Um, but this version was in Deathly Hollows, and I think it looks way better because throughout the movies, um, the castle changes quite a lot. And um, this is just my particular favorite version. Um, we do have Dumbledore's grave over here. This is his little grave island completely finished. I think that's a cool little grave island. Um, we have the staircase that leads all the way up to the castle here. So we'll kind of fly up this castle staircase and see what we're working with up here. So up here, we're going to have this little courtyard that is going to lead to the um, great hall over here, which is the dining hall. We have a nice starry sky in the ceiling. And um, a lot of the interior is actually surprisingly done, but I think I'm just going to do an exterior video. And if you guys want to see an interior vid video, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a quick tour of the inside. But one thing I want to note is that I completely remodeled this castle um, a couple years ago. So I originally created the Hogwarts castle and I it just wasn't that good and my building skills got way better over the years and I decided to completely remodel the entire thing so I have probably thousands and thousands of hours on this world just building this castle which sounds like a lot but this is actually the first version of the Great Hall that I made and you can see the improvements so clear um, these orange blocks are just like kind of mapping details that I had, but I don't know what that floating block is in the sky. It's kind of bothering me. It doesn't matter. Anyways, um, look at this. I mean, this version is just so small. There's, there's no detail. I mean, look at the windows. I mean, we don't even, these windows don't even open up to the actual hall here or anything. Um, <coughs> th this courtyard was just tiny small cramped it the design is just bad uh if we come in i actually do have a similar interior but again no sky in the ceiling it's just small and clustered and it just looks terrible and i'm so glad that i remodeled it so if we come over here here's the old version and here is the new version i mean holy smokes it's it's literally just night and day um with how I created this it, it, it really I mean we have so much detail the windows actually lead somewhere there's so much so many like better block choices I, it's just it's, it's really night and day and I'm so happy with how it turned out um, we have this part of the castle done um, this leads to a middle courtyard I'm gonna actually fly up so you can get an overhead view of what we're working with over here so this is going to lead to a, a little courtyard in the center here and on the outskirts a lot of this is not done with the terrain. I pretty much only have this area of the castle done. 
but this is going to be the clock tower where the infirmary is up on the top there and um looks great looks great we also have this um a uh, little crooked bridge that leads across um also not done i have to finish up the bottom but i really love how this bridge turned out it will go right here where that that sponge is marked right there um i like how this turned out though it, it's gonna look so nice when it's all done it's just gonna take so much work comes look at this you can see all of this terrain i'm building is all from hand you know I, or not from hand i'm using like world edit and voxel sniper but like I'm placing and shaping all of this by hand. I, I keep saying by hand, but like, you know, it's it's not generated via like World Painter or anything. Um, but if we come around here, that's where the owl post is gonna go. Um, this little valley is still being worked on. We have this section over here, which is gonna host the charms classroom, and we have this little i like this valley that runs between here that's super cool um one thing i'm trying to do with the terrain is add lots of like greenery and wildlife so we have um these trees here with some grass this is not fully detailed i'm actually probably gonna like put snow on these trees and everything um but i'm trying to make it feel alive because i don't want it to feel like it's just uh, just you know just boring and, and and not have any life to it this is also another really cool thing so these mountains is actually what the original terrain around the castle was I literally just copied and pasted these mountains in a big circle around this place and that was when I was like 14 so I've been working on this castle for probably probably near a decade I'm not gonna lie but I always I, I mean not consistently I, I would usually work on it for like a couple months and then I'd take like a year or two break and forget about it and then I'd come back and work on it again and just recently I've been I've been really trying to get it done and um, it, it's it's turning out so well these two towers in the back is actually my favorite part of the castle I, I just love the shape and the color and the design I was able to to cram into the these two towers definitely my favorite part of the castle but we do have the greenhouses as well. This is the only base greenhouse that is completely finished. I have like rust all over it and stuff. And I'm going to rust up the rest of these. But if we come in here, greenhouse 3 is where the mandrakes were. But this greenhouse is going to have, you know, little mandrakes being plotted and whatnot. And um, each one of these greenhouses is actually going to have a different um, theme to it. For example, this one over here. We've got a little pumpkin patch in the back with some some uh, growth pumpkins that, that Hagrid was experimenting on. But this one's a pumpkin theme. So we're going to have a different theme for each each um, each one of these greenhouses. Over here, this is one design change that I personally changed myself. Um, a lot of this castle is based off of um, pictures and a, a real source material. Um, but there's also going to be a lot that's also my own that I'm adding um, my own details and my own I guess spin on things and one of my own spins is this Whomping Willow. I'm actually adding it to, to the courtyard on the side by the greenhouses. I think it just makes sense you know Professor Sprout would probably have this in her own little area. It is kind of walled off in its own little section so it's saying like students don't come over here but um I also wanted it here because Professor Lupin could actually access it easier because if we come through the back here, where actually this trapdoor will open eventually, um, but we have this little tunnel that is going to lead um, all the way to the uh, Hogsmeade Village, which I haven't started building yet, but it'll get there. It'll get there. I think I'm going to build Diagon Alley before Hogsmeade, but in eventually, when it's all done, it, it will be completed. Um... But that's pretty much circling around the whole castle. We did not check out this middle courtyard, though. The astronomy courtyard. Um, in the middle of the astronomy courtyard, we actually have um, a little memorial for Dumbledore's grave right underneath the astronomy tower where he fell. 
a little morbid, but I, I thought that was a little detail I wanted to add. And we do have this tree here, which if you recognize it, is actually the tree where um, Draco was turned into a ferret by Professor uh, Moody. So that's cool little detail. Cool little detail. I I'll do a little interior. I'll do a little interior. This uh, astronomy tower. Uh, oh, man. Okay, well, I have to change this really quick because that is not supposed to be sponge. We're going to set that to 98. All right everything's in order but this is the transfiguration classroom um really really great classroom i have a little black cat here for a little professor mcgonagall reference and i have some like birds and stuff um in this cage to be transfigured by the class but um that's pretty much going to do it for the exterior little review here i'm going to show you a couple things and then I'm going to call it quits, and I'll do another tour when everything's done. So I'm going to add in, I think, I'm going to add in some screenshots right now of what the castle used to look like before I remodeled it. So we have um, pictures like this one that, oh my god, I mean, there's just so much that I changed and I'm so glad that I did decide to change it because even though I've spent so long and so many hours working on this I, I, I don't regret it at all I'm so satisfied with how this turned out I, I really don't think I would uh, regret spending my time doing anything else but in this part of the castle I'm gonna show you a little bit of the interior so far we have this cool little grand hall right here and one thing I'm very proud of is down here we actually have the Hogwarts library which is a one-for-one -one replica of an actual library that was actually used for filming in the Harry Potter movies. Uh, one thing I did change down here is actually the restricted section so if we come down this staircase we have a little gated off restricted section. I It is a little dark and eerie in here but um, that's one thing I actually like about this castle. So I purposely did not light all of this up to be super bright because I like how it's kind of dark. You know, it gives it a vibe like a, a medieval castle. And I really, really enjoy that. Uh, right here we have History of Magic classroom. This is my own interpretation. And um, I, there's just so much to, to do and show that I... I when it's all done, I'm going to do a full 100% tour of everything. It's probably going to take two hours, I'm not going to lie, um, because there's just so much I want to show. But I think there's one thing. Okay, actually, I'm going to go back in here. There's one thing I want to show, because if you've ever played Hogwarts Legacy, you'll know that you can explore Hogwarts Castle in there. But there's not a lot of, like, secret rooms and... Well, okay, there's a lot of secret rooms, but there's not a lot of secret passageways. Which is one thing I was really excited for that I they did not deliver on. So one thing I'm making in this castle is tons of secret passageways. If we come in here, I'm actually going to get some night vision. I'm not going to show you where this passageway leads, but if we come up here, we're going to have actually two secret pet or two secret like rooms in this area. If we come over here, um, I have it opened up, but I don't have it done yet. This is going to be a secret room that leads over here, which is another. Um, pillar that leads somewhere but if we come up at these stairs and you come over here you're gonna look around and be like oh there's some detail it looks really nice but these pressure plates look a little suspicious that's because if we come on this one we're actually gonna have a secret uh, secret hallway that leads somewhere in the castle I'm not gonna spoil it but there are tons and tons of secret rooms just like that one all over the castle that you'll be able to use for shortcuts from to get from class to class as well as um, secret little like libraries and workspaces and whatnot but that is gonna say I'm gonna save that for a for a different video in the meantime that's gonna conclude it for the Hogwarts castle update so far this is my first I guess a long form video of the castle let me know what you guys think and do not forget to subscribe so you can see the updated progress on this castle because it is far far from done and when it is all done it is going to be something absolutely 
legendary. Anyways, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.